when I hear like crossfade, I think Tallahassee <laughs> oh, instantly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that must be such a great memory and experience of having worked in Tallahassee oh, and radio. That it was been best. so awesome. It was the best. My son went there this weekend. It cost me a lot of money. Yeah, yeah. We were comparing notes, my brother and I, because my brother's got a kid that goes to school there, and I had a kid that likes a party there, and he was like. Um, yeah, this weekend cost me seven hundred bucks. I go, me too. Yeah, because they had to buy uh, Halloween uh, costumes. Yeah, then uh, there's a place, Mike's Beverage Barn. Are you familiar with that yes. place? Yeah, that cost bunch me bunch of charges from Poorhouse Pauls and uh, Bullwinkles. Yeah, and, a lot yeah. of uh, a lot of clubs up there that uh, I contributed. Yeah, to I don't know. Weekend. When I lived there, though, we were like just we were all dirt broke, and it was it was a lot. He's different. dirt broke too. <laughs> it was a lot different because oh. uh, you just give. Two credit cards. Yeah, I would say he's yeah. broke. He's using my money. Yeah. <laughs> Tallahassee broke. now, there's a lot of big, fancy, big corporate like bars and uh, restaurants. Uh, None of that existed when I lived there. Like it was Dave all Buster's type When thing. I lived there, it was all college dive bars. Yeah. So I had planned on opening a pizza place. Like that was my plan. What I was going to do was open a pizza place. And I started working in the nightclub business and started doing well with that. But I 100% was going to move to Tallahassee oh, and yeah. open college town. Like open a pizza place that serves beer and stuff. Like that's it. Why there, don't we do that now? Yeah, we could. I'm in. I would do that. Let's go. I'm I got. There. I have the ooh, recipe ooh. for the dough and the sauce and everything. Back then, there was the ma- the main strip of bars on Tennessee Street in Tallahassee, and there was a Gumby's Pizza across the street, uh, and that's Gumby's where. Every, yeah. And the Gumby's would give pizza to different bars on certain nights. So, like on Monday nights, we'd always go to Poor Paul's because it'd be free pizza yeah, and yeah. cheap beer. And then, yeah. like on Wednesday nights, it'd be over, uh, you know, somewhere else. You go there. Oh man, how creative you were when you were a poor college. Yeah, you you would plan your whole week around free food. And what nope. the drink specials were. We used to do nickel beer yeah. for three hours. Draft yeah. beer, nickel. nickel. You'd buy the Did copy. people really pay the nickel? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you, most people would give you a dollar. Yeah. And yeah. then you just keep the change, whatever. Uh, some people would actually give you a nickel and a dollar so you didn't have to break the dollar, oh, which like was that. cool. Yeah. yeah. You had to pay for the cup. So you come in and it's like five bucks for the cup. And, and then the cups you get would be beer. like this big, but yeah, still, they're little you'd tiny. You stack cups. them up like this high in your right. table. <laughs> but, uh, and then we would have, you know, whatever pizza place would bring in uh, pizza. Yeah. And, so, and the the maintenance guys or the janitor guys, whatever, loved it because people puked a lot. Yeah. <laughs> oh, really? oh, I mean, think about it. You're just down in draft beer and wailing on pizza there'd be <laughs> nickel beer night and then there would be a kill the keg which was oh, always yeah. fun too yeah. did you did you do it with like it was a bladder bust so if, if somebody went to the bathroom right. that you pulled the beer yeah yeah they yeah. had that i think they stopped that pretty early yeah. there. They did, people because were like, there were people guarding the bathroom and there yeah. were <laughs> there was fights and people peeing. The yeah, so i think something uh, happened with a wee yeah <laughs> that kind of shut that down See, yeah. i worked at a bar that the closest bar to the michigan stadium and we did all you could eat pancakes and bacon on oh. game day oh wow yeah. for like 15 bucks, 10 bucks, something like that. Yeah, it, yeah, it was insane. Nice. It, it would just get so crazy. One year, I made so much money. All the girls stole my money. Wow. Was, yeah. the, my first shift, because I didn't know. Like, I didn't know. And I was like, oh, we all work here. And I didn't have anything. And I was wearing, like, Victoria's Secret boy shorts. Oh, yeah, you were. So I didn't have any pockets or anything to keep my money in. So I just had to keep it in the back. In my purse, like uh, and stuff. Someone went through my bag. And what took a novice! Yeah. And then again, I was eighteen. Yeah. And then, but guess what? And they were all like, "Oh, this girl, this girl." Guess what? Next home game next Saturday. Everyone in Victoria's Secret oh, boy yeah. shorts. Yeah, for and, sure. Yeah, but I made so much. They money. were so mad because they all had to go back to your father's basement after. Wait, they didn't know I had to go to my dad's basement. Your dad was such a bad, bad he man. He was not. I'm glad they caught him.